Uh, my name is Joe Angevine. I'm the uh, manager of the landfill here at the Foothills Regional Landfill uh, and Resource Recovery Centre is what we call the site. Uh, the big one for us here is the dust controls. With those types of roads there's constant dust and so all the trucks, the heavy trucks are all kicking up dust. Everyone you can't even see half the time driving down the roads in the landfill site until we put down this rasvolt material uh, and then basically we have no dust so on those roads. So for we've had some roads now for three years that uh, basically haven't had any dust issues on those roads since we put that product down. So one of the things that's always bothered me about um, the recycling industry in general is there's, it's hard to establish a market for these, these materials. Uh, not a lot of demand for stuff like used shingles. Um, so anytime a company comes along that is making a product like a Rasvolt where it creates a demand for the products that we're trying to keep out of the landfill, I'm all for trying to work with those companies or, or support that industry to help it grow to get to the point where there's consistent demand for the products that we're collecting here and, and diverting from the landfill. So, and it helps to create that kind of closed loop of the very shingles that we're collecting and taking here at the landfill are being hauled, back hauled on these projects and made into the RAS vault that we then can pave the roads here in the landfill with. So it also helps keep our costs down for ratepayers here at the landfill if we can do these types of projects at a third to a quarter of the cost of, of paving. Um, but, you know, yeah, it, it tries to, we try to tackle a few problems all at once here, uh, and this Rasvolt has been a good solution for that. And so we're going to probably quite soon start to sell that product uh, from the site here as well. Less than half of the volume of material that comes in this landfill is actually landfilled. Uh, I think about two thirds of the tonnage is typically diverted, recycled, used in some other way. And that doesn't even count the salvage center, which would, would you know, increase that amount by a lot as well. So yeah, we're trying to make a site here that um, you know, manages waste responsibly and, um, and leaves, the, leaves the area better than we found it. That type of idea, I guess, that type of mentality of um, yeah, improve things, make it better, make it, uh, make it so it will last and, and benefit the region for as long as possible. They're very flexible and easy to work with. And, and they try and basically book it uh, based on what's convenient for us. So it hasn't really been an issue.